first is that we need to uh, at least model uh, this cube so it kind of looks like a cereal box okay so and we're gonna make one that's kind of normal looking not the uh, Sam's Club right because Sam's Club that's Sam's Club right there we want the one from Walmart all right that looks pretty good okay and we're gonna keep it simple we're not gonna bevel the edge or make it fancy you just uh, this is more on UV editing, all right? And uh, let's uh, bring in the texture. So I'm gonna go to the shading tab. All right, here we are. And uh, if I zoom out right here, okay? So I'm gonna need to get my photo. It's on downloads. And let's take a look. Pretty sure. All right, there it is. So Rice Krispies, I'm gonna bring it in, click and drag, and then we're just gonna plug this color to color, kind of like the crate. Okay, and voila, there it is. And Blender so confused, it doesn't know how to uh, position this thing, okay? So it just knows that you want to put it in there, okay? Another thing that we can do is maybe go to our roughness right here and then make this a little bit more rough because you we don't want it too shiny. It's supposed to be cardboard, okay? For sure, non-metallic. Doesn't matter what the color is, okay? We just have this one right here. All right, so now this is all UV editing work at this point, okay? So I'm going to switch the UV editing tab right here and it just simply shows you the cube what used to be a cube and how blender thought uh how to apply it as you can see it failed because it still thinks that this cube is a um, it's a cross right so it's how you spread kind of like paper crafting or if you unravel a uh, a uh, a cardboard uh, or a cereal box as you can see here if you look at a rice krispies it's kind of like the cross except it's sideways okay that's the top so basically, we just have to tell Blender, hey, this side is the font, go to that side, so on and so forth. So first thing we want is to be able to see what's happening in here. So I'm going to click on the third sphere right here, which is look dev, that gives us a preview, okay? Very important here that we understand where these things are in here and over here, okay? So uh, we want to make sure that we will unwrap this one the best possible way uh, so that we can follow the uh, the scale or the orientation of the photo here that we're trying to apply here. So first things first, I need to go to object mode. Now that Blender um, still thinks this is a cube by the evidence that it was uh, unraveled as a square, uh, I mean a cube here with the cross, we need to make this object then apply and uh, all transform. Okay, that simply just resetted everything, all the numbers here. So let me undo that, actually, so you can see it. Okay, if you see here, we have value on the scale. It's not one, 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 right? Because we did scale this, started as a cube. But if you go object, apply, scale, or all transform, just to make sure everything gets resetted. Okay, Blender now thinks this is the starting point of this cube, not as a cube. Okay, so those are one, one, one now. All right, so let's start our UV. Same thing with the crate, okay? Uh, we have to select everything. So I'm gonna press A just to make sure everything, all the sides are selected. I'm gonna go to the face mode here, okay? All right, and then we're gonna press U, okay? I'm gonna turn on my screencast here. U to unwrap. All right, and then it's gonna ask you, hey, how do you wanna unwrap this? This is not a cube anymore. Very obvious, not a cylinder or a sphere, right? Well, however, we have this option here called Smart UV Project, okay? Smart UV, it will basically spread this out based on the proportion of this object right here. So you can see here, it's still across, right? I'm gonna press A right here, let me move it right here. You see it right there? Okay, so if I unwrap this Smart UV, you will see now that it's asking what is the angle limit. We're leaving everything as default here except for the island margin. The island margin is zero. An island margin simply separates them. So you can see here, there is no island margin. That's why these things are attached together. So if I give this a value, 
any positive value. So if I'm going to just going to click this right arrow right here, gives it a 0.03. Okay, and when I click OK, so we're leaving everything on its default, right? All I did was what? Press U, Smart UV, Island Margin. I just click that. You get 0 0.03, and then we're going to click OK. Watch what happens here. Do you see it? All that cross right there that used to be, it's now spread like so. Do you see it? So it like it unraveled the cube or the cereal box to its proportion. And that's only possible because when we were in edit mode, we were doing what? Apply a scale. Okay, so I'm gonna press tab here, go to edit mode. All right, so I'm gonna press number one here to go to the front. I wanna make sure that I have front selected. Okay, so I'm gonna click the front right here. So I selected the front face. And Blender tells us that this, this is the front face right here. So I wanna make sure this is selected. All you have to do is press G and move it, position it where what's supposed to be the front, okay? However, it looks like it's upside down right here, okay? So when our UV mapping is upside down, all we have to do here is I'm going to select everything back to the UV map, okay? And I'm just going to rotate this 180 degrees. The best way to do that is actually use the numbers, okay? So I'm going to do R for rotation and then type in 180 and enter. So what it did, it flipped everything. So now we don't have to, everything here goes the right side way at least until we have to kind of commit, okay? So I'm gonna select the front again, go right here and simply press G. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna press G again. As you can see here, our object is bigger than the side, but you can already see what's happening, okay? So if I scale this smaller, okay, you get that option where you can go kind of over it, okay? So what I'll do is I'm just gonna to try to center it using G right here, and then scale it down, and you can just eyeball this, you don't have to be too perfect, and then kind of move it up. Okay, so now the front is perfect. I'm going to select the top. If I zoom out here, Blender says this is the top right here. So we have to do some rotation on this one, but first move it closer to the where it's supposed to be. Okay. As you can see here, we need to rotate it. So that would be R. I'm going to hold down Control. So it snaps to five degree increments. And then there it is. Or is it supposed to be like this? Okay, like that one. Okay. I'm going to zoom in on this one, press G. Okay, I'm going to try to center it, okay? Then I can do my scale here, scale tool. Gonna make that thing a little bit less wide. Press G to uh, center it, and then go to the X here to make it a little bit taller. All right, go back to my select tool. Let's take a look. Okay, top part's done. Select the side, which is the right side here. If I zoom out in here, there it is, so I'm gonna press G. Put it right here, let's zoom in. All right, so I'm gonna do my uh, G again, grab, to kind of center it. I'm gonna to go to my scale tool and scale it up so it it's kind of matches. All right, you can grab those points individually, by the way. Um, it's just that, uh, you might miss the alignment and then it might be skewed. So scaling kind of prevents that. Oh, and it's upside down. So let me just do R, 180, okay? And press enter, and it's upside, uh, it's upside right. Okay, so this one right here, which is the left side. Let me zoom out, there it is. So press G, put it closer. It's also upside down, so I guess the first one was just the upside down. I could have saved time by not rotating anything. All right, so I did R180 on that one to rotate it. Another way to rotate, folks, is press R. That's the keyboard shortcut, okay? And then hold down Control without moving the mouse. Hold down Control, and then when you're rotating it, it snaps a five degree increment so you can make sure that it rotates properly, okay? So let me just zoom in on this one. So scale, make it a little bit shorter, just a bit. 
a little bit wider. And you have, don't have to be too perfect on this one. Just kind of get it close to that. Okay, again, this is very similar to video game assets, folks. These are those material, I mean, objects that they position in there. You don't even bat an eye, you know, you just blow them up. <laughs> so because they're like low poly, these are things they put in the uh, in, uh, cabinets and whatnot, you know. They only kind of matter if you're playing games and then this is like an adventure game or those horror games where you have to collect items and you're thinking you can actually use this Kellogg's Rice Krispies as food. All right, so now the back. And the back's right here. I'm going to press G. All right, there it is. Let me zoom in. Okay, I'm going to position it. I'm going to scale it to fit. So I'm scaling and then moving, scaling then moving. So when, after I scale it, I move it a little bit. Then I scale it all along the X right here. All right, so it's probably went to the green there a little bit. There you go, that's probably good enough. Okay, so let's take a look. Now that we've done all the UV editing, I'm gonna move to the layout or modeling to see what this looks like. And there it is. So we have applied an existing photo to your object and UV mapped it. So, all right, I'm gonna end the recording here.